Hey everybody, it's Jeff the Horrorfile 666. I'm back with another update. I didn't think it was going to be this quick, but I had some time today and I was running errands again and stuff and I stopped in uh, a thrift store and also Target. Actually two thrift stores. The first one didn't really have anything at all and then um, the second one I found uh, four VHS and three DVDs and then I got the one uh, Blu-ray Target. So let me just get into all this stuff real quick. Um, this was a one thrift store that I usually, you know, I've only been to a few times and they're sort of like a rip-off, you know, usually with prices because they had like a few, um, you know, Xbox 360 games and a controller and first I asked how much the Xbox 360 controller was and they said like $30 and I'm like, yeah, okay. So then I looked around and I said, you know, do you guys have movies or anything? And then they had, you know, a big shelf full of DVDs and then also like two huge like um buckets kind of like uh VHS you know like storage type ones and then there was also another shelf with some more and I found these these were one dollar each this is uh the legend of sleepy hollow what attracted me to this I actually never heard of it uh it's got Jeff Goldblum and um and Dick Buckus and some other people and it's from Star Maker Video so I took a look on the back and there's Jeff Goldblum and stuff and this mentions him like when he was in the fly uh, it's from 1988 so I have no idea I haven't really looked any of these up or anything so that was a dollar and then I found this um, 1952 or 53 whatever uh, the War of the Worlds is the H.G. Wells one I'm not sure if this was colorized or not um, this was actually um, it says renewed 1980. I'm not sure the exact date of this or anything. I guess it was colorized. I'm not sure. But that attracted me. You know, some sci-fi stuff there. Um, then I saw this in the corner. It says HBO Video. And this was one I've never seen before. And on the back it's supposed to be some kind of um, science fiction thriller. It's called The Manhattan Project. The Deadly Game. It has uh, John Lithgow in it and it's still got the wrapping on it, it just was cut under here to take the tape out and um... yeah it says it was like some kind of um... a thing about like this kid uh... he does like a, a prank or something and it messes with the uh... united states military and you know it says the deadly game is an intelligent provocative thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seat i have no idea i guess this was shown on hbo years ago um, it says 1986 copyright, so, you know, the cover kind of, you know, made me interested, and for a dollar I figured I'll try it. Then I found this, I was just about ready to leave just with those couple tapes, and this is a never-ending story, uh, put out through Warner Brothers, um, the first one, of course. Uh, yeah, so then I took a look at it, and first I thought it was sort of crappy condition. You can see there's some tape and stuff, but actually when you look at it, there's some of the wrapping still on, and they just taped over, like, the wrapping, I guess, to keep that on. And then there's only a tiny little stain right there and right there. I'm thinking maybe I could get it, like, with goo gone or something, depending on what it is. But yeah, this is a movie from my childhood, and this is actually labeled under Family Classic, so... Yeah, definitely one I wanted. So that was like four bucks for those. Then I saw this. Uh, they wanted three dollars each for each DVD, and I didn't have this one previously yet. I know you can find it at some big lots and stuff, but I haven't been able to locate it, and I didn't really feel like ordering it online. This Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Next Generation. I know it's not very good, but I picked it up, and it had the uh, the thing on the inside there. You know, the chapter selection and stuff, and it's a flipper disc, full screen and widescreen. Um, I know there's another edition of this out as well with a different cover, but yeah, so I, I talked the lady down from three dollars a DVD down to two fifty a DVD. So I got that. And this is one uh, MGM presents Midnight Movies. I know some of these are out of print, so I took a look at this one. This is uh, Vincent Price and Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher. It says it's from 1960. It's unrated. And um yeah, I figured I would give this a shot. I do like Vincent Price. This is one that I had not seen from him. Um, I'm not sure if this is in color or anything either. Yeah, it actually is in color, so that's cool. Then I saw this. This one basically knocked my socks off. Uh, it's the two-disc collector's edition of Beyond the Door. Um, this was the one that was put out by Code Red. Um, and there's two discs, like I said, in there. 
uh, here's disc one. That's got uh, the unrated version. Disc two has the theatrical version on there. Um, it didn't come with any kind of liner notes or a chapter index. If any of you guys out there know, if, you know, originally when you bought it and if it came with it, you know, just sort of give me a heads up. Cause I mean, it probably did have something, but I don't care. I mean, two dollars and fifty cents. I don't know how hard this one is to find or anything. I had seen this years ago when I used to rent uh, videos of Hollywood Video, and I guess it was just a theatrical edition. So I'm sure there's a sort of a big difference with the unrated. So that's that. That was all from that one thrift store. Then I was doing some grocery shopping and things in um, Target. We went to a different Target today. And I was looking at like the music and movie section. And there was a small section of Blu-rays for $5.99. Nothing really caught my eye. But then I saw this. It was the very last copy. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Total Recall. Yeah, I mean, the movie's basically self-explanatory. This is one of Schwarzenegger's best. I guess you could call it like sci-fi action thriller. So yeah. Um, that's my whole update, basically, guys. Um, all this stuff came out to just about $19, so I was friggin' impressed, you know, because I did a little bit of haggling. Um, originally they wanted a dollar twenty-five for each VHS, so I was able to talk them down to a dollar, and then the DVDs were originally three, and I talked them down to two fifty. Um, yeah, there was sort of like a bit of a language barrier between us because um, the one woman mainly spoke Spanish and. I don't understand very much of it, you know, so I wrote it down on like a piece of paper and, you know, they understood, whatever. So yeah, that's my update again for today. I guess I'm going to be done for a while with updates. I'm pretty much running out of money now. I spent about almost 30 bucks the past couple of days, but got some good stuff. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and enjoy your week. And if I don't see you guys before then, have a great 4th of July as well. Take care.